the Aztecs tonight. It's homecoming in San Diego's mm -hmm. And Bob Average with Wyoming comes something unique to our area, and that is the wishbone offense. Yes, it is. It's unique because you don't see it in the WAC that often, and there's very few teams that have the talent and the uh, patience to run an offense like that. All right, now, is there any kind of a magical key for defense, such as San Diego State, to stop the wishbone? Well, the key is basically you have to stop the inside run with the fullback. Then you can adjust with your linebackers and corners to stop the outside run, the pitch, or the quarterback. All right, and that quarterback is Phil Davis. He's a senior, and he's a good one. He's been around for better than three years. One of the total offense leaders in the Western Athletic Conference. Aztecs are 4-3 and three coming into tonight's game, and the conference are 2-3. and three. Wyoming, one of the four leaders going into this weekend. They are 6-2 and two overall, and they are 5-1 and one in the West. So they need a win. The Aztecs lose to the three in a row. Definitely need a win to stop that skip. And we'll be back with the Doug Scoble Show right after this. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Not All Styrus, and by New Corp Corporation. And now, here is Coach Doug Scoble and Ron Rena. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Doug Scoble Show. I'm Ron Rena, along with the head coach, Doug Scoble. The Aztecs get ready to be the University of Wyoming Cowboys, a team that's very much in the race of Western Athletic Conference competition, run for the Holiday Bowl this year. All right, Doug Scoville coming off the loss of Utah, a very heartbreaking loss. Now you have to kind of change, well, for one thing, defensively, get ready for a wishbone. Does that present problems for your defense? Well, that one always does uh, when you only meet it once a year, but uh, I feel confident because Bernie Miller and Cole Proctor and Steve Schaefer have all had experience defensing it, and... Uh, now that, that means a lot. I, I think we can do a good job defensively. Okay, going into the game, a week of preparation, a couple of things. You said you'd lighten up the practices a little bit, make it uh, interesting for the kids. And you installed a shotgun. And uh, tell us about the thinking behind that. Well, the main purpose in that run, really, a lot of people think it's to give Matt more time. Well, really, it's to, to help the line more than anything else because people have been using so many stumps against our pass offense that it gives them a chance to drop off further. And... By doing that, they're not right in Matt's face because he's set back further and he has more depth on his drop. So that, I think, will help us. All right, yes, let's make a few changes in the offensive line. Also got some bigger people in there. So we'll find out how that pans out as the Aztecs meet the Wyoming Cowboys. And we'll be back the first half kickoff right after this. Right. San Diego State did not win the coin toss. Kent, the Aztecs will kick off as you see Dave Meyer approaching the ball in the deep drying up flash. One of the dangerous kickoff returners in the country. This is not the five. Yeah. 15. 20. Hit. At the 21 yard line. That's all. Good special team set by Bob Babbage. This was Ramage number 82. Three of their linebackers down there making good plays. The secret to playing somebody got like Ramage is to stay in your lane. You can't over the ball, you have a certain lane to stay in. Go there and stay that way. That way, there's no seam for him to break it. He's very quick and explosive. There you see the Wyoming Cowboys huddling Phil Davis, their quarterback, directing the attack. He's running back for 33, Peter Rule, 44, Walter Goffigan, and 39, Dane Ingram. The wishbone as they set the tight end. James Williams, strong left. And the full house back to the First down, Davis himself, 25, 30. 35, there he goes, Bill Davis, Mr. Everything, and a flag right off the bat. He takes the ball to the 40-yard line, going 18 yards. He's a dandy, Bill Davis, a senior, and let's take a look at it again. Bill's the key to the wishbone offense. They say he may be the best wishbone quarterback in the United States. Now you're talking about kids from Alabama and Oklahoma, so he has a lot of talent, he has great speed, and what makes him even more dangerous is he's got a good arm. He's completing over 50% of his passes this year. Cowboys coached by Al Kid Jade and his first year in that performance coordinator a year ago that had died. Captain Walker, he remained as the head man, and she's been coaching three years ago. And that's what it's right. It is a penalty against San Diego State. That's an uh, added yardage. 15 yards. Sack down the Aztecs. The late hit. Personal foul. Takes the ball to 45 in San Diego State. So on first down, not too bad. All the Cowboys. One of the four leaders in the WAC. They need this one tonight. All four leaders this weekend on the road. BYU has already won for Hawaii. Utah tied. First down, Davis. Gets the second man through. That's Rule. Peter, a 5'11 sophomore. Rams in New Jersey to the right side. Down to the 40. He's upended the rule. Uh, Aztecs defensive line. Back to Todd Seaball also in there. Along with the Brad Williams. John, you were mentioning earlier that Kincaid is the third coach in three years at Wyoming. It's amazing that he's able to put the team together to have a 6-2 record at this point in the season. Usually a new coach coming in 
a lot of changes, a lot of personnel moves, a lot of different philosophies. He's done a remarkable job with this ball club. Second down, five, Cowboy. Now in motion goes Ingram to the left. And Davis makes the handoff, pitches back to the short side of the field to Peter Rule. Rule trying to sweep out the right side, bumped out of bounds by Todd Seaball. Dave Kudem coming up from the quarterback position, shy of the first down as he goes to the 36-yard line for what will be a four-yard pickup. Aztecs with the same group defensively. Across the front, Brad Williams, Mike Vance, Steve Allman. Linebacker, Todd Seaball on the outside. Inside, Allendale, Bill Fairbrother. Don't Craney also on the outside. And it's now third and one for the Cowboys. Davis hands off to Rule. Rule has the first down and more as he banks down to the 30. Rule goes forward to the 29 yard where Mike Fox makes the hit. Coming up from the safety position. Fox and Alvin Bush teaming up the safeties. There it is again. Takes it to the fullback, gives it to the second back through. It's just straight one on one blocking. And the key to a good wishbone offense is the center of the line. It's your two guards, your tackle, and your pullback. Those are the people that make your wishbone, along with a good wishbone quarterback such as Davis. So it'll be interesting to see the battle in the line between the two guards and the defensive linemen of San Diego State. Williams, the tight end, sets up to the right side. And again, this time straight ahead. It comes to Ingram. Ingram, small hole up the middle, and he squirts through it quickly down across the 25, the 22 yard line. As the Wyoming Cowboys moving the football, they have young running backs. Ingram is only 5'9", a freshman. Rule, 5'11", a sophomore. Goff again is 5'10", a sophomore. Seven yard pickup, second down three. Cowboys averaging 290 yards a game on the ground, 415 yards a game total offense. And they're averaging 35 points a game. All right, quick pitch comes out to Rule, Rule on the right side, bangs it across the 20, down to the 16-yard line. Peter Rule, and that's another first down for Wyoming. Good block, Gary Carr, the right guard. Offensive line, good size. They have Jesse Hauser, 6'3", 285. Dan Wilson, 6'3", 246. Jordan Giorgio, 6'7", 244. Guard from is 6'5", 278. Right tackle with Joe Ramuno, 6'3", 240. First and 10 Cowboys, the Aztecs, 16. Davis on the option, hit behind the line of scrimmage and drop. So the Aztecs trying to sink through. Yeah, got it. Right, they're doing some slanting. They're bringing the tackles down. Uh, they're bringing the linebackers, scraping off to the outside. Anything to disrupt the blocking. We were talking about the offensive linemen. Uh, they have a young man, number 77, Gary Crum, who's 6'5", 278 pounds. He's a senior. They say the pro scouts are drooling over this man. He's had a tremendous season. He's a great one-on-one -on -one blocker. And uh, he's probably the best offensive lineman they have. Second down, 10, Cowboys. Davis back to pass for the first time tonight. Pressure throws into the end zone, and it is intercepted. And they're going to say intercepted right at the one-yard line. Was that Mike Fox? It looked like Mike Fox. So the Aztecs in the sports ball game take the football offensively, and we'll be back. We pick up the action. Wyoming Cowboys have the ball. Cowboys are two for two in third down conversions tonight, facing here a third and ten. Martinez split ends, it's out wide to the right. Ooh, Ingram in motion. Rolls left, back to pass. That's not how pressure delivers, and it's caught by Martinez. Can he do any fumbles? And the Aztecs have recovered. Alvin Bush. It's good to see Alvin back in the lineup after breaking that hand last week up in Utah. Come up with a big play. Good play, action pass. Still Davis back. He's going across the middle to Martinez. He's just coming back. He's had some knee problems. He's been out the last two weeks. Good tackle by Kuda, just stripping in the ball. And here comes Alvin Bush picking it up. Another break by the Aztecs. So Wyoming, one of the best in the country for not having a lot of turnovers. But they had one here, uh, interception, and now a fumble. So the Aztecs take over. Much better field with them. 20-yard line and line up in the I formation on first down. Copeland under center. On first down. Takes the draw back to pass. He's going long to Darius Durham. Kick like it at the 40. Durham in 101 with point back Darnell Flash. Gary, did you see most of the sky? The ball thrown a little bit over his uh, left shoulder. Just a little. That's a hard pass to catch. Especially if you're looking for it over the right shoulder. Matt lets it fly. Darn Darnell Clash was beating. 
Darius was looking for it to come over the right side and came over the left. Looked like there was a little face mask when he was falling there, but uh, again, the officials' eyes didn't see it, and that's all that counts. Second down, 10. Aztecs, no score. Eight to six play, first quarter. Second down, 10. a good block at number 73, Charlie Patterson. He was the cowboy in the backfield there. Matt made the block enabling uh, Phil Smith to pick up uh, to lose two yards instead of seven or eight. Yes, to show a little fancy work. So they have scored his first three. It's Andy State now with a second down 12 on their own 49-yard line. Shotgun, first time this year. Both for the pass. It's long downfield. Durham is open. Got it to 15. To 10 to the five-yard line. This is how they were in one on one coverage, and Darius doesn't have that blazing speed, the 4 3 4 4 speed that you would see, but he's been able to get open. The shotgun that the Aztecs are using today is something that they feel that in certain situations, like on third and long and direct passing situations, would help Melt get away from the blitzing linebackers. So there you see the Aztecs inside the five yard line, first and goal to go at the Wyoming three and a half. Donnie Roberts and Bull Williams are the setbacks. On first and goal, Bobler rolls left, looks to the end zone, fires to Jessup, intercepted. Darnell Flash. Well, Matt lost it that just a little too easily. He didn't, I think if he had a little more on it, it might have got to the receiver, but Flash made a fine play. Good fake rollout. And right here, he throws right off his heels. It wasn't set. Flash making great interception. That's John Jessup is all by himself. It was a very fine play. So Cowboys turn the Aztecs away. We'll be back right after this. And Davis, the quarterback, on the option. Tries to find some money room, but the Aztecs string it out nicely and brought him down. Good job. Penetration from the outside. That's Todd Seaball. And it coming in for the hit, Allen Dale. Pick up a one yard to the 21 yard line. Doug Green checks in at the defensive line, replacing Brad Williams. Second down nine. Kofler on the interception. That's the one time this year. Bill Davis sets his club, senior quarterback on second down nine. Makes the handoff. Shots out of the field on the option. Keeps it himself. Cuts in. There's your old Brady. Makes the hit, and Alan Dale comes over. The Aztec linebackers. Trying to shut down that wishbone option offense for the Wyoming Cowboys. Pick up to the 24 yard line. Three yard gain, third down six coming up. One thing about the Wyoming Cowboys talking to Bernie Miller, the defensive coordinator for the Aztecs, is that when they run into the sidelines, it'll either be the quarterback keeping the ball or it'll be a quick pitch. They won't run any option stuff. Martinez sets out wide to the right on third down six from the right hash mark. Ingram in motion left. 
Davis rolls left to pass. Sets up. Has time. Delivers. Williams, the tight end, missed. And then gets to the 29-yard line where he's hit down, which will be short of first down yarding. There are flags down. James Williams, the tight end out of Syracuse, New York, a 6'2 junior. Semi roll. He was coming back. There's a little holding there. Oh boy, yes, it was. It was right tackle Joe Ramuno. Here he's on our replay against Brad Williams. Two inside linebackers, Alan Dale and Bill Fairbrother. Aztec have the option now, pushing the Cowboys back via the penalty or declining it and bringing up a fourth down. It's a tough situation. I might decline the penalty. It's about two yards to go, and I don't think this early in the ballgame, Wyoming would be willing to go on fourth and two. Mike Fox looking over to the bench, asking for a new direction. See the referee. Looking for a little direction also. Apparently the Aztecs will take, take it. After this the goal line. So the Aztecs coaches decide to take the penalty and he gets to play for field position. Apparently that's what figured that Wyoming's not that strong of a passing team and they probably don't figure they could pick up the uh, 20 yards for the first down. So the football moved back to the nine yard line. So it'll be third down. All the way to the 30. So it's third and 20. To the wide right. Goes in motion left. Davis rolls left. Draw play goes to Rule. Rule 20, 15, 20, 21 yard line. He picks up 10, maybe 11 yards. That's all. Way short of first down yardage. Just a good safe call. They don't want to put the ball up in there and turn around. Good draw play. They're going to ask Texas will be either blitzing or they will be dropping back in his own coverage so they won't be able to get the long pass anyway. Funny situation for the Cowboys. Now they've got Jack or Jack or Walker. He's a sophomore and he's a dandy. He's averaging 41 yards a punt from his own 10. It's this one away. A high short kick. Roberts will let it bound. At midfield takes a Cowboy bounce. Roberts wisely lets it roll. Risking the fumble. No way. It goes dead. The 31 yard line for what is all about a 48 yard kick. So the Aztecs in the sports ball game take the football offensively and we'll be back right after this. The belt offered Wyoming. As we pick up the action, Aztecs have the ball. He's looking at a second and ten now. Smith comes out wide to the left, Durham to the right. And in the shotgun there, you see Homer between his running backs. It's a good snap from the ball. He's back to pass. Blitz is on, but he's got time and delivers. Complete to Durham at the 38 of Wyoming. Nice pass back over to Darius Durham, the junior from Bolsa Grandy High School. Lee Mitchell making the tackle. Along with Steve Nicewander, the linebacker dropping back. First down, Aztecs. You see a shot of Darius, number 88. Matt dropping straight back. It's about a 19-yard turn in. Darius turns in there. Matt drills the ball. It's right on the money. It's right between that cornerback and the linebacker in the zone. As to Coach Gap feels that Mitchell is the weakest of all the four defensive backs of the Cowboys. The corners are playing soft now, about seven yards off the line of scrimmage on first down. Ball. Bull Williams on the 20 room. He makes something out of it, though, as he bangs it across the 35. Down to the 33 yard line. Outside linebacker Jimmy Leopolis makes the tackle. Leopolis is senior. Trying in Wyoming. Bull Williams puts a good fake on 73 Patterson. He thought he was going to go outside. Patterson goes out and Bull Williams cut backs in. There was a nice hole there. It was a nice run. Bull's getting stronger and stronger each game in the running department. He's starting to get a feel for it. He's been, uh, last three games, been running the ball very well. It's a six-yard game. Second down. Four Cowboys with a three-man rush now. That's a short. Bull Lumat changing the play at line of scrimmage. Second down. Takes a handoff. Keeps it himself. Cuts in at the 30. Trying to get outside for some running room to the 26-yard line. Where he's all down and has a first down. John Sally, a safety making a stop on Matt Butler. The bootleg. Bocho, number 80, gets on the block on number 66. Joe Cruzina, open it up. Yep. Slides in for the first down. That's a dangerous play if you don't get that blocked by that tight end. Uh, the quarterback picks up a defensive end that's just a little bigger and a little stronger than the quarterback. There you saw John Jessup going to get a little play. Matt Copeland looks at the scoreboard, which shows no time left in the first quarter. And that'll do it for the opening period. We got a 0 0 ball game at the Indian Stadium. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. Quarter action this period brought to you in part by Budweiser. Remember, Aztec fans, this Bud's for you. 
game time is 7.30 at Peterson Gym, right on the SPSU campus. And by all old Tonda, pile of cars in National City. No score. Aztecs looking at a first and ten at the Cowboy 26-yard line. They show slot formation right. Long setback is Will Williams. Hope the back to pass. Looks up the hill. Fires long for Durham overthrown at the goal line. Darius got one-on-one -on -one coverage with safety Mike Davis. Overthrown. They pass are going to be second half ten. Wyoming Cowboys. Their 6-2 record beat Fullerton State, lost to Oklahoma 37-20 at Norman. The Air Force Academy, Nevada, Las Vegas, lost to Hawaii. UTEP, BYU, last week, Colorado State, 55-21. Second round, San Diego State. Back to basket, blitz is on. It is picked up as he delivers over the middle. Durham has it at the 19-yard line, and hits down immediately. As Darius flips over the middle, Darnell Clash, the quarterback, and Mike Davis teaming up. Junior Darius Durham for what will be a pickup of eight yards, seven yards. Yes, it's now looking at a third and three. And that's staying in the pocket a little more. He's used to the blitz now. He's seen it about the last four weeks. See Darius coming across the middle and just drops it right in there. Good read by Matt. He's trying to pick up the blitzes a little more at the line of scrimmage, and now he's calling some audibles. He's getting, getting, being able to pick up his wide receivers, his secondary receivers, not basically his primary receiver. On third down, Colter will pass again. Blitz one more time, but he delivers, and it is intercepted by Wyoming's Mike Davis at the 40, and at the 50, finally hauled down by Phil Smith at the Aztec 45. We do have a flag on the play, Ron. I don't know if it's against the Aztecs holding or there was a uh, defensive holding call on the one of the Cowboy defensive backs. He pumped the first time and threw it again. Davis just made an excellent move on the ball, knocked it out of both throws' hand. Takes off downfield. It's open field. I don't think anybody knew what was going on for a while. Everybody hesitated at the line of scrimmage. Well, the preliminary call is illegal procedure against the Aztecs, so the Cowboys obviously will decline the penalty. Kofler intercepted for the second time tonight. They've been moving the ball, but he's, they've had two interceptions that stopped him. Well, in the first quarter, the Aztecs moved the ball for 98 yards passing, 15 rushing for 113 yards, the Cowboys 98, so you're right. So, we'll take a break. First and 10, Wyoming, and a scoreless ball game. And Phil Davis back to pass, delivers Martinez of the 35. 34 and haul down. Vernon Dean making the stop, and I would say fine move by Martinez, which it was. He's an excellent receiver. Vernon Dean, though, did slip on the play, and that hurt his coverage of outstanding wide receiver Steve Martinez, who's from Los Angeles. And he's their best wide receiver. He doesn't have the great speed, but he has good moves, good hands. He looks the ball in, then looks for running room secondary. It was a good play because they fake that wishbone dive into the play and then come up throwing. First and ten, Cowboys. The Aztec 35-yard line. Davis pitch back to Rule, trying to sweep. He's got running with the 35. Mike Fox misses him, but hauled down at the 29-yard line. Number 33, Peter Rule. By Bill Fairbrother. That'll be a pickup of five yards for Rule with the Cowboys. Melvin Bush forced pretty strongly from his uh, strong safety position, but just missed the tackle. He just got bumped, knocked out of the way. The thing that's amazing about Wyoming is he figured they... They control the ball so much, they have a lot of running plays, but they've only turned it over eight, uh, nine times in eight games this year. Second down, five, Cowboys. Bill Davis, senior quarterback, wish ball. And it's a rule again. He's got the first down and more as he bangs across the 15, uh, 25 down to the 31. It'll be a pick of a six yards, first down. Quarterback Dave Crudup making the stop. Number 50, Bill Fairbrother. The Aztecs have had their chances. All out of the Utah game a week ago. They've been deep in Wyoming territory twice, come up empty. Bill Davis in passing is two for five for 28 yards. He's been intercepted once. Has his club now with a first and 10 of the Aztec 21 yard line. Davis. On the hatch off straight ahead. Fullback Doug Moore. Check that Dean Ingram. Ingram. Moves to about the 17 yard line. There by Jeff Moore. Pick up on a play of three yards. Seven Cowboys. Eight, two and a half minutes, the second quarter. Scornus is taking a look at Martinez. He lines up wide left. Tight 
Brandon Williams sets up strong right to the short side of the field. Cowboys. And off. Uh, Rule hit the back of the alley. Makes it back home. Gets about a yard or so. A nice running by Rule. But Brad Williams was there hitting right in the back row. Nice play. Shut it down. One thing I've noticed about Wyoming, they're not your normal wishbone team. They do a lot of motion. They send a tight end. They run it back out of the motion. And a dead set wishbone team. So with that, the Cowboys take a timeout. We will, too. Six. And the Aztec 17-yard line. Bill Davis rolls back the pass. Looks for Martinez in the end zone. He's all open. Touchdown, Wyoming. Vernon Dean slipped and fell. It was no contest. Well, that wasn't even a good pass. It was just floated up there. Vernon Dean could not have slipped. I'm sure he would have been able to come back and probably even just pick it back up. Semi-roll by Davis. He just lost his loss. See, it's just like a wounded duck just floating out there. Vernon fell down. I'm sure he could have been able to close and either batted the ball down or maybe got the sixth interception of the season. Our quarterback, Phil Davis, that is his ninth touchdown pass of the year. And the Cowboys go in front, six to nothing. On to try the extra point, Steve Tobin is 27 of 30 this season. See Martinez, the kick is on its way. Tobin hurts. The Cowboys go in front by a score of seven to nothing after the pass interception. Mike Davis set him up. So Wyoming leads San Diego State 7 to nothing. 11.59 to play in the half. So Tobin the kickoff now for Wyoming. High end over end kick. And the five yard line by Robert. Mike Fox making it. 20, 25, breaks it, goes to the 30, then he fumbles. And it looks like Wyoming has recovered. Mike had a good running lane there. He accelerates right through here. There he goes. He's carrying the ball a little loosely. He just changed his hand there. He got hit from behind, and the ball just pops out. Picked up by the Cowboys. Troy Robinson makes the recovery. So, three turnovers by the Aztecs, two by Wyoming. And here's the Cowboys on offense at the Aztec 35-yard line. First and 10. Davis rolls left the pass. Wants to go for the touchdown again. It does to Martinez. Knocked down by Darrell Hall, who's in at quarterback now for Vernon Dean. And Darrell, who's played from scrimmage very little this year, senior from Long Beach. With a nice play going one-on-one -on -one with Martinez. Watching Martinez all the way. Darrell Hall closes very nicely on the ball and bats it down at the last second. Good coverage by Darrell. That'll block two kicks. We could go at Utah. Starting quarterback two seasons ago. Richard last year. Davis is three for seven, passing for 45 yards. Second down, 10, Cowboys. Davis straight ahead, handoff, running free at the 25-yard line to the 24. Tackled by safety Mike Fox. The running back was Doug Moore, the fullback of 5'9 junior out of Lincoln, Nebraska. That's 11 yards in the first down. Take on 10 yards. Frankly, I don't know why the Cowboys pass. They get all the yardage they need running the ball. Try to diversify the attack, give the opponent something else to work on besides just stopping the wishbone. First and ten, Cowboys. Davis, long count, line of scrimmage. On the option, he's back to pass again, looking to field. Wants to throw to a back, and does. Ingram out of the backfield. Hit down, though, by linebacker Bill Fairbrother. Up to the 20-yard line. It will be a four-yard game. They've been throwing the ball about 17 times a game. And I guess when you have a talented quarterback that can throw the balls, you don't find too many option quarterbacks that are good passers. Most of them are uh, the quick, they get quick hands for the pitch and they turn, the, turn it up field real quickly. And Davis has the, a decent arm. He doesn't have a real strong arm, but he's able to throw the ball and it gives him an added dimension. Second down, six, Cowboys. Davis straight ahead, hand off. Goes to the fullback, Doug Moore. Moore pounds to the 16 yard line. He has to stack him up. Number 34, Alex Hanowitz. Going to be about two yards short of first down yardage. Stop at number 93, Mike Vance. So now third down and about three to go for the Wyoming Cowboys. They lead at seven to nothing. We got 10 to play. Eight, Doug Moore, Doug Moore, First half of play. Five turnovers already by the two clubs. On third down, Davis 
Keeps it himself on the option. Pitches it back to running back Kevin Lowell. Lowell skirts the right side. Plus the 15 at the 14 yard line. Close to first down yardage. He may be a little short, Ron. Dave Proto come up and made a nice tackle from his cornerback uh, spot. He's either going to be right on it or he's going to be short by a few inches. He's by the nose of the football. So Davis and company keep the drive alive. They try to take advantage of the fumble by San Diego State. It's a Wyoming first down. The Aztec 14 yard line. Aztec's going to Nevada, Las Vegas next week and then two weeks. Now we'll be back home, final home game, Texas El Paso. Emory sits out wide to the left. Davis on first down. Handoff goes straight ahead to pullback Doug Moore on the dive play. Doug takes it down to the 13 yard line. And there's an Aztec player down, injured. Make that the nine yard line. A five-yard advance. The Slowly, John Brady, linebacker. That'll be a tough loss because he's been, just been outstanding the last three weeks. So while Brady goes off the field, we'll take a break. Seven to nothing, Wyoming Cowboys. Good penetration, but he's elusive. Bill Davis finally hauled down by Allen Dale at the four-yard line. He put a good move on cornerback Darrell Hall when he was sweeping. Slipped to the inside and picked up a few extra yards. They had a defense pretty well, but Davis made something out of it. A pickup of five yards. With the football resting at the four yard line, where it'll be third and one for Wyoming. They alternate their wide receivers with plays. That's Emery and Martinez. Emery and Mouse, it's a wide to the right. Full house backfield on third and short. Davis gives to the fullback, Doug Moore, and he pounds to the three, maybe to the two yard line. Doug Reed, out of the mile for San Diego State. That's a first down for the Cowboys. Top number 51, Alan Hale. Back, Doug Moore, 5'9 junior, gives a pat on the back of the lap to his right guard, Gary Carlin, a 6'5", 278 pound superfly. They call him Beef. Now I know why they call him Beef. That's your life. So first and goal to go, Cowboys of the Aztec, three yard line. Davis, just to the right half back, in for a touchdown, Dane Ingram. Play. They're sending the fullback and the left halfback in there, and Ingram following both of those. Just dives over for about the one yard line for a touchdown. He dove over Darrell Hall to the 49. So the Cowboys going front now, 13 to nothing, taking advantage of turnovers as they've scored both touchdowns. It's a direct result of an Aztec turnovers. One an interception, the other a fumble. Now Tobin on to try the extra point. It's on its way. And it is good. So with that, the Wyoming Cowboys jump on top of the Aztecs by a score of 14 to nothing. We have 8-10 left to play in the first half. Let's return to the play. First and 10, San Diego State. Shotgun offense on first down. Back to pass. Pressure steps up, trying to run it. And Whale breaks a tackle. 35 at the 30-yard line. Necktied and brought down. As Matt ran away from pressure. Mike Davis and Reggie Fowler making the stop for the Cowboys of Wyoming. He thinks they've got to go for it to be in deep trouble. Got some yardage out of it. He reads a good pass rush. He doesn't see any of his receivers open. He's going to take off instead of getting sacked. Instead of turning a 10-yard loss, he turns it into a six-yard gain. It's a good effort by Matt. There you see him getting bulldogged down by number three, Mike Davis. That's a command of all for four minutes. We're inside of four minutes and a half. Aztecs trying to get some points on the board before halftime. We're looking at a second down and four at the Cowboy 30. Open pass on second down. Now dumps it off. Complete Durham. 25, 20, and goes all the way down to the 15 of Wyoming. There he is, Durham. Up by Chuck Pagano and John Sally. Very effective pattern. They just run everybody deep. Durham just sort of trots down and then breaks across the middle. Takes all the defenders back and he's wide open. Good effort. They run three wide receivers, or two receivers and a running back. They run them deep. Forces that zone to stretch out a little and then they bring the wide receiver across the middle. Durham with four catches tonight for 87 yards. 
First and 10, San Diego State at the Wyoming 15 yard line. They've been down here before. On first down. Hopefully, such a long count. No snap. Now, Matt, no flags. There was movement. Boy, oh, interesting. And so Matt calls timeout. Very interesting. He came away from center, which is normally a uh, legal procedure. Aztecs lucky there. Why are the coaches were curious, but it's first and ten Aztecs at the 15 yard line. Kopler is to pull away and trying to get outside, being chased, hit, can't get away, and finally is hit, pushed backwards. And off the Cowboys did a good job of wrapping up the ball. He could not get outside. He loses yardage. Jill Fusina made the initial hit, and then Lee Mitchell, a cornerback, were wrapping up. You see Fusina coming off the block right here. He's his man. There's no place for Kerry to run. It's a good effort, though. He tried to get away. Mitchell comes in and wraps him up again. It's kind of hard to run when the man is sitting there waiting for you. So the Aztecs lose three. They have now a second down at 13. Durham to the left. Bill Smith to the right. Gary Williams sets up in the wing to the left. On second down, back to pass. Drops his arm fakes. Now pressure to hit. And going to be dropped for a loss. At the 27-yard line. Good defensive play by linebacker Steve Nicewalker. The linebackers were shooting through, and nobody picked him up. Matt wanted to dump it off right here real quick. He wants to hit the tight end, but he was covered. He had to get out of that pocket, and here comes Nice Longer, 46, from his middle linebacker spot blitzing. Of course, Davis with the strong safety blitz also, yes. That's the third time Copeland has been sacked tonight. Another loss was third and 22, and the clock is moving. And it's 45 to go. The Aztecs have to get going. They trail 14 to nothing. Kofler will put it up. Matt fires, completes it at the 20 yard line. That is John Jessup down to the 12. So he makes up some of the yards lost as Jimmy Leopolis makes the stop. They still do not have a first down. Clock continues to move with a minute 24 to go. The Aztecs are at fourth down and they decide to bring on Dave Meyer to try to kick a field goal and get some points out of it. Jessup coming across the middle. He's one on one with Iliopoulos, the linebacker. Kid had a great game last week. He had six sacks against Colorado State. That's a career for some people. He had them all in one game. He's a dandy. He was a walk on. He walked on as a tight end after being Wyoming's high school athlete of the year. So Meyer to try the field goal from the 20. It'll be a 30 yard kick on its way. And it is wide to the right, they say. Aztecs thought it was good. Kicked it well, but just barely missed to the right. So a mid-season slump for kicker Dave Byer misses that field goal. The Aztecs turned away. Now boys get the ball with 53 seconds to go. It's still leading 14-0. It's frustrating for an offense. They had the ball for 10, 11 plays. They moved it well. Got the clock down and then missed the field goal. An opportunity to score it. It sort of takes a lot of pep out of you. It gives you a little down feeling. But they'll bounce back. The Aztecs are always in a ball game because of the explosive offense they have. All right, first down is a 24, Wyoming. There's 53 seconds remaining in the half. Bill Davis inside handoff. It goes to Rule. Peter takes it across the 20 to the 22-yard line. It's wrapped up there. Wyoming won't do anything fancy now. It'll just either be a dive play or a draw play like on that. They've got a 14-point lead. They don't want to turn the ball over here with only 37 seconds left in the half. The Aztecs just had the ball for seven minutes in the off second on a 12 play drive. They came up empty. That hurt. 27 seconds to play. Cowboys on top, 14-0. They have a second down and eight. Quarterback Bill Davis under center. It's rule in motion. Davis handoff straight ahead. Fullback Walter Goff again. Wrapped up by Jerome Freeney at the 25 yard line. Ball carrier, number 44. Will be a three yard pickup. Bring up a third and five to Wyoming Cowboys. 27 seconds to play as the Cowboys take a timeout. They have had the coaches over the years. Rich Shermer and Sunderland. Seems like a good stepping stone because Dye and Akers got good jobs out of it. Dye went to Auburn and Akers went down to Texas. So. It is that, a good stepping stone. Third and five Cowboys with seven seconds short of the clock. Back to Bill Davis. Long count. Like nothing fancy. 
Steve Strand had an out strike. Now back to Ingram, who was pop. All right, Seneca takes Todd Seaball. The Aztecs take a timeout. I think they're going to rush the punter and try to get a block punt and a quick score here. Number 44, Walter Dolph again. So, three seconds remaining. Cowboys will punt the football. Mr. Wheeler has a couple of 25 yard punts this time. Is for the by the chicken. The chicken here. Chasing Miley Chasing have a block on, but he gets it away. I saw floater waiting for Gary Nobles at the 35. Trying to find some running room. There's none. The Cowboys have him in. That'll do it. 37-yard punt. End of the first half of play. So the Wyoming Cowboys lead the San Diego State Aztecs on a score of 14. Nothing at intermission. We'll be back right after this. It is halftime, and the score is 14 to nothing. Wyoming leads San Diego State. Doug, first drive for the Cowboys. Boy, they just moved the ball right down there and then through the pass that was intercepted at the goal line. Fine play by Vernon Dean. Yeah, Vernon had good position on him, and they kind of blooped the ball up, and uh, Vernon took it over completely. Is it tough for defensive backs and cornerbacks, especially against a wishbone where they keep option, keep banging in there, and then all of a sudden drop back and throw it? To where oh, you there's no might. question. That's what makes the passing game going. They're the opposite of us. They they run to pass where we pass to run. All right, then the other token, the other side, the Aztecs then go down and uh, have a great pass to Darius German, and boom, the interception on the pass for Jessup. That's right. It was a beautiful pass. We had it set up. We'd worked on that one all week, and then uh, to get down to the four or five and then give it right back to them. Uh, Turnovers this game just really, really hurt us. Boy, turnovers are the killer. As you notice, there were some in that first half. All right, it's 14 0 Wyoming. We'll be back with the Doug Scoville Show right after this. All right, 14 0 is the score. Wyoming leads San Diego State at the half. Doug, going into the second half now, uh, are you thinking in terms of maybe running the ball a little more? Because you had had some success, specifically with the Bull Williams in the first half. Or did you still want to just come all out and throw? Well, we wanted to throw mainly because we knew we could throw against them. There was no doubt in our minds, in the offense or defense, that we could win the ball game and at halftime. I think the players and coaches all felt very positive, and we came out with a lot of fire. We were ready to go uh, run or pass, and we felt, you know, we'd run when the opportunity was presented, but felt that we could throw the ball against this group. Yeah, 14 to nothing, so you don't feel you're out of the game. Right, and we felt that we were tightening up and stopping the bone, too. Okay, do you say anything to your team, or do any of the coaches say, okay, because they're kicking to us, let's get a good kickoff return and we're going to get back into this thing? Mm -hmm. Very definitely, but there was no question. I think I don't think we've ever had a better feeling coming out. We really were positive, and all the coaches and players together, and, and we really felt we were going to win that football game, even though we should have probably come off at halftime with no less than a tie and probably been ahead except for our own mistakes. All right, so the Aztecs are very much alive in this football game as they come out for the second half kickoff. Watch it. You're going to enjoy it. We'll be back with that right after this. Half of action. Tobin kicks off for Wyoming. Waiting the ball. Phil Smith at the goal line for the Aztecs. Back up to the 5. 10. 15. Finding the hole. Gets it. 20. 25. Great shot. Just hit. Rocked out of the 15. Words on Almada. I said the Aztecs need a good run back to start the second half, and they got it out of Phil Smith. Lee Mitchell with a saving tackle. Big 50 yard return. Phil sees a little hole, and he has that 4 4 speed, and he just takes up right through there. So you can see it accelerating. Mitchell running him down. The only reason he did that is he had the angle. But a good 50 yard return by Phil Smith. Aztecs start the second half, trading 14 to nothing, but with excellent field position right at midfield. First and 10. AI formation. Kofler under center, Matt Long. And quick pitch, Donnie Roberts on his through to the left side. Donnie gets a block, turns the corner, gets about four yards, and goes to the 46 there. Reggie Fowler, outside linebacker, makes the stop for the Wyoming Cowboys. Reggie Fowler's got an interesting story for Wyoming. He is a six-month senior from Tucson, Arizona, who has played four positions in four years at Wyoming, both offensively and defensively, and already has been accepted at two different law schools. Four-yard gain, second down on the long five for the Aztecs. And a half-yard pickup. Go for the pass. Dumps it out. And dumps it out poorly. Right to running back. Bill Williams come out of the backfield as the Wyoming showed blitz and the Aztecs wanted to circle it back out of there. I just wanted to dump it off and let him run for four or five yards. Matt seeing the blitz. 
trying to get rid of the ball in a hurry, and he just let it go just a little too soon. This period of action brought to you in part by Budweiser Fast and Thanks for all you do. This butt's for you. And by Paul Old Honda, Milo Cars in National City. Out of the shotgun, Hofer puts it up. Has a man open, completes it. Keaton Sampson, the 32 yard line. First down, San Diego State. Quarterback, Lee Mitchell. Sampson running, putting good move on here. He's just running straight down the field like he's going to run a post pattern. And he breaks it to the outside. Beats Mitchell pretty bad. He's wide open. Good route. Matt throwing the ball right on the numbers. Aztecs had maximum protection that time. Both backs stayed up. Looking outside. First down, Aztecs and Cowboy 33. Again, the wishbone. Or rather, the shotgun. Low snap, and Kofler picks it up and delivers. Wide open, Darius Sturm takes it in. Bumped out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Right from the quarterback, Lee Mitchell, so they are working on him. Working on Mitchell on the same, basically the same type of pattern. That's one of the bad things about the shotgun. Puts a lot of pressure on your center. Bad snap. Matt picking it up fine. Just a quick out. I shouldn't say a quick out, about a 15-yard out. Matt drilling the ball, playing shortstop, getting it off, off of the ground. That does put a lot of pressure on center Matt Long, a Sustin Jr. out of Ventura. First and 10, San Diego State at the Wyoming. 19-yard line. I'll bring to the right hash mark. Yeah, Bull Williams bangs off left tackle. Across the 15, down to the 14-yard line. Boy, he really got off quickly. John Sally making the stop for safety. First half, Bull ran seven times for 31 yards. Picks up five yards here. Second down five. Darius has caught five passes for 102 yards tied. He sets out wide right. Sampson wide left. Second and five. Bofler makes the handoff, rolls right. Had a man open now, fires at the end zone. Durham all open, but overthrows him. He was open earlier, but Matt couldn't see him. He waited and tried to throw the ball. I think he was throwing it away more than he was trying to complete the ball. He didn't want to give, give up the interception down there. And Matt already has been picked off twice in this football game. So the incomplete pass will bring up a third and five for San Diego State, who approaches now. Seventh play of this drive. 14-0, Wyoming leads it on homecoming at San Diego Stadium. A slot formation, slot left. Bull Williams, a long setback. Over, will put it up again. Blitz is on, but he delivers out there. Complete, John Jessup, tight end, inside the 10-yard line. Pushed back, but if they give him forward progress, it should be a first down. As John Sally and Lee Mitchell teaming up. Tight end, John Jessup. That dropping straight back. It's just a little slant out to the tight end. He goes down and breaks to the outside. He's trying to run toward the flag so that he can pick up the first down, and I believe he did. It's important for the Aztecs to score in this drive. This is going to get him back in the ball game and give the offense a little confidence. They have been moving the ball between the 20s, but once they also get inside the 20s, they've been having a few problems, not only tonight, but in the previous weeks. First and goal at the 8-yard line. Kofler on first down. Long count, back to pass, quickly into the end zone. Durham! You can't hold it! One on one with Darnell Clash, who has an interception earlier tonight. Incomplete pass. They scored twice on that play against Utah a week ago. It's a good pass play against man to man coverage. You're going to get a lot of it inside the 15 10 yard line. And the basic thing for the quarterback is just to loft it up there and let the wide receiver run underneath it. Darian just couldn't control the ball. Boy, the Aztecs usually used to do that a lot with Jesse Freitas and Isaac Curtis. Over 12 for 23 passing. He's in the shotgun now on second down goal at the eight yard line. Matt takes a look. Fires into the end zone. Phil Smith, touchdown Aztecs! Second touchdown uh, the pass of the season for Phil Smith as he beat quarterback Lee Mitchell. One-on-one, -on -one. he puts a good move on him. He is wide open. He took him to the inside, broke to the outside. Ball is right on target. 
Bob Babbage caught it. The Aztecs needed to score, and they got it. Touchdown pass for Matt Kofler. That's his 12th of the year. Well, the Aztecs now make it a 14-6 ball game, and we got a penalty. Wipes out the touchdown. Holding. Oh, boy. That hurts. Where was it? I never saw it. Did you know? I didn't see it, but the official indicated holding. There's the walk-off. Oh, boy. It hasn't been easy for the Aztecs the last three weeks. So a scratch that touchdown. The football goes back to the 21-yard line. See the holding? There it is right here. You can see it right in the middle of your screen. Number 53, Farnsworth was being held. And it's kind of hard to say. We couldn't pick out a number. It was one of the tackles, though. Let's put it that way, because Farnsworth is a defensive end. So the Aztecs have second and goal to go from the 21. Again, the shotgun. The blitz is on. Kofler to the pass. Can't run it. Still looking upfield. It gets across the 20. And then rolled down at the 18-yard line. As Matt was looking for Darius Durham, who was well covered by Darnell Clash, but Chuck Pagano, a safe up to make the tackle on Kofler. He picks up five yards to the 16. Thus, it'll be third and goal to go. Diego State trailing 14-0. Again in the shotgun. Kofler looks downfield. Fires into the end zone. Complete touchdown, Aztec. Darius Vera. Putting a fine move on Darnell Clad. You want to say anything, he'll make sure there's no flag down there. Get out of the shotgun. That's it. He's looking to the right all the way. Now he turns and goes to the secondary receiver. There he is Durham, and there he was, bidding Darnell class. Perfectly thrown ball. Boy, that shows me something, because the Aztecs, after the penalty, wiping out the touchdown, come back and get it. So they get on the board, for sure, 14-6. And that touchdown pass to Darius Durham means $100. The Aztec Athletic Foundation, Dave Ball, Ball Oldsmobile. Dave Meyer out of the hold of Jeslin. Kick on its way. It's good. So we got ourselves now a 14 to 7 ball game. Wyoming needs San Diego State. 12 and a half minutes to play in the third period. Back right after this. The ball game crowd now enthused and up for the kickoff by Dave Meyer. Boots it high to the seven yard line. Darnell Clash, 15, 20. Breaks it away at the 25, and then the Aztecs get to him. Boy, is he elusive. Finally hauled out. And he was the number one, Darnell Clash, who do it all as far as kick return. Seventh in the nation in punt returns a year ago as a freshman. Now fourth in the nation. 14.8 yards per punt return. He's 12th in the nation in the kickoff return. Second in the whack kickoff returns. First in the whack and the punt return. He returned one punt for a 90-yard touchdown, and he had one of his 87 that was called back because of the penalty. Well, for the first time in this half, Wyoming on offense. 14-7 ball game at the 26-yard line. First down, Phil Davis to pass. Fired as a man open. Tight end Williams at the midfield, all the way in the Aztec territory to the 42. Tight end James Williams. At least the line of scrimmage. 31 yards. That play action pass that throws the cornerback Earl Hall. There's a good thinking with the fullback. Stop again. Davis just lost it out there. Williams is an exceptional athlete. He's a big 6'3, 190-pound tight end. I mean, 225 pounds had in this side. The Aztec 43-yard line with a first down. And keeping it as Davis, the quarterback, tries to cut in. The quarterback, Darrell Hall, comes up and levels him. As he tried to turn the corner on the short side of the field. Tackle by number 49, Darrell Hall. Well, no gain on the play. And now they spot the ball at the 41. The official fast lay between 44 and 41. Yeah. Yeah. Put three yards, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Deal in approximate. There's a lot of real estate out there. So you just kill the yards. One yard pickup, second down nine, Cowboy. Now back here. Davis, obviously changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Still long count. Gets it off in time. And off. Oh, Davis just keeps it himself. 
Nationals across the 40 to the 38 of San Diego State. Yeah. He's anticipating blitz by the Aztecs, and they disguise it pretty well because they didn't blitz. They take them out. So, wasting a play. Look at all about Who could outguess the other? Giant chest match down there on the field between the two coaches and the players on both ball clubs. Now Wyoming is looking at a third down at six. He has the 38 yard line. Will Davis on third down. Rolls out the pass. Fires in the flat. Completes it nicely. Martinez at 25. And Dave Suda finally hauls him down at the 21 yard line. Nice catch by split end Steve Martinez. A good one. Coming off an injury, missing the last two ball games. And he's their leading receiver. He's cut 30 coming into this ball game for 505 yards and three touchdowns. He doesn't have that great speed, but he's very effective when he gets out there on one and one. Uh, Emory sets up wide to the left as the Cowboys have their first down to the Aztec 21. Davis keeps it himself after taking to the fullback on the dive and he moves straight ahead over right guard down to the 16 yard line. So doing, picks up five yards. That's going to be by Grant Williams. Six two for thirty. A junior from Jackson, New Jersey, with help from Bill Turner, brother in law. Second five, Wyoming. Look at the Aztec defense. The Cowboys come to the wall. Davis, pitch, rule. Hit by the line of three, strike down, Allen Dale penetrating nicely. Junior Allen Dale out of Palomar, J.C. and Escondido. No game. Allen's the leading tackler, had 100 tackles coming into this game. That's assist and unassisted. But he's having a fine season. He'll be back next year for the Aztecs. That's a good in good shape of the linebacker. Dale yeah. returning, Seaball, Fair brother. They have a couple of youngsters, Jack Eaton from Fallbrook, who's was very impressive, and uh, Ron, 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 Ron Monaco, a freshman. So they're going to have him. He's going to be pretty strong in that department. Kevin Lowell is in the backfield now. And again, Wyoming decides to take a timeout for whatever reason. Strange may seem at this stage of the football game, and so they granted that. 9.33 to go, 14-7. Wyoming leads it. We'll be back after this. Fight. Motion, Ingram. A rule check that. And here's Davis rolling back on third down. The pass. Pressure blasts it out and caught to seven. Missed and then finally out of bounds is Kevin Lowell. Down at the two-yard line. Bumped out by Alvin Bush. Now they have pressure on Phil Davis, but he unloaded. There he is. The rollout. And he just lost it. It is right on the target. Not a real strong pass, but it gets there and gets the job done. Mike Fox knocking him out of bounds, knocking low out of bounds on about the one-yard line. He doesn't drill the ball like Matt does, but somehow the ball gets there and finds the receiver. Oh, I don't know. Wyoming, big opportunity. First and goal at the two-yard line. He has the Goffing in the fullback, trying to squirm into the end zone. Aztecs trying to stack him up, and belatedly, officials call a touchdown. Brad Williams of the Aztecs is not happy at all about that, but officials say Goffing is in for the touchdown. Fullback Walter Goffing in a 5 10 sophomore from the end of each. That was an interesting drive because we'll take a look at the touchdown here. Goff again, jumps into the air. He rolls in the end zone. The thing is, his knee never touched the ground, so what yeah. can you do? He just rolled over the body. What's interesting about the drive, Wyoming, the wishbone team, but what actually hurt the Aztecs are three passes. That's true. Coach Hoban to try the extra point of the Cowboys after giving up a touchdown. The Aztecs come right back as a good team and get a score. Tobin tacks on the extra point. Now it becomes a 21 the seven football game. Right. 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 23 to play in the third period. Back to action, first and 10, Wyoming, Phil Davis, talking to his backfield, apparently changing the play on first and 10. Boy, a long conversation. And the clock running down, but he gets the play off, keeps it himself in options, pitches it out to Charlie Mike is in there now. He's running good to the 40, to the 45-yard line. Charlie Mike, a freshman from Panama City, Florida. Charlie Mike. It's good yardage. First down, Cowboys. Oh, whatever he was changing the play to, it worked. It sure did. Must have saw something in the way the alignment on the Aztecs defense was. He, they pitched. There was nobody around the place. They pick up a 15 yards. Pick up a yard line. 
Got to be Cowboys, something else. Cowboys tonight have used seven different running backs. They've all carried carried the ball. First to ten, Wyoming. Forty-four. In the wishbone. Davis hit by the line of scrimmage, keeps it himself. Now pitches it out nicely to Kevin Lowe. And Lowe around the corner in Aztec territory, finally bumped out at the 41 of San Diego State. And there you see the athletic ability of the option and Phil Davis. Right. Takes an exceptional athlete to do this. Waited till the last possible moment to pitch it out. He had that cornerback stuck between a rock and a hard slice, and there's not much he could do. He's just going to sit there and go, oh, my God, what do I do now? Now Wyoming changes quarterbacks. Craig Johnson comes in. He's a 6'7", 175-pound junior from Aurora, Colorado. Davis, first down, Cowboys, Aztec, 41. Johnson rolls left to pass, fires quickly. Martinez at the 30, one-on-one. -on -one. Darrell Hall moved the ball down inside the Aztec 25-yard line. Craig Johnson will drop off there. He has thrown 10 completions and 30 pass attempts this year. Gets that throw out. He dumps it right off to Martinez. Johnson's supposed to be a better runner. And it's a good move by Martinez. Drags a couple of Aztec tacklers with him. They're mixing the plays up pretty good. Johnson's a better runner. He's supposed to be quicker than Davis. On that last play, Davis had that pitch out. I don't know how he could get much quicker than that. Davis is back in there now, directing the attack at the 24-yard line with a first down. Hands off straight ahead, it goes to fullback Warner Goffigan, bangs down to the 20-yard line. And in so doing, gains five-yard line. The Cowboys continue to move the ball. Martinez tonight has caught five passes for 86 yards and one touchdown. I think Davis came out to change shirts. He had a shirt ripped on that uh, option card for the brought in a designated passer in uh, Craig Johnson, and he completed it. Second down to five, Cowboys. And off goes Moore, fullback, down to the 10 to the six-yard line. Tackle by Joel Craney, Doug Moore. First down, Cowboys. The fullback dive right up the middle. Moore finds a little hole. Franey coming from his linebacker spot puts a good pop on him. He explodes right into him. It was a fine tackle by Jerome Franey. It's a good run by Doug Moore also. Well, all those Wyoming running backs are all underclassmen. All freshmen or sophomores except for Moore, who's a junior. And the only senior is right there, number 16, Phil Davis. First and goal. Pitch back to Charlie Mike. Charlie Mike fumbles. Loose ball. Scramble. And I believe the Cowboys are getting You see a lot of bodies down there. Six-yard line, ball popped out, goes back to the eight. The 77, Gary Crum, the guard, picking it up. There it is. Good, oh, by good tackle. Somebody, Gary Brady knocked ball. it out of his hand. Reached in there, knocked couple, it out. Couple aspects diving for the ball. Here comes Big Crum jumping on it. Amazed he didn't flatten it. It's 6'5", 278 pounds. There was no gain on the play. But ultimately, it turns out to be no gain. You see John Tisson coming in a running back, up by that pressure. Second down, goal to go at the HR line. Four and a half minutes to play and a half. Cowboys have Emory set out wide left. Davis now's back to Davis back to pass. They chase. Pressure now throws to the end zone. And it is incomplete. Intended for running back John Tassone. Well, the last six back there with him. Okay, Kudos and Mike Fox doing a good job on coverage. He can't find anybody open. Getting low pressure from Brad Williams and throws it up. There's Kudup just gets a finger on it. Mike Fox knocks the receiver out of the way so he can't go after the ball. This will bring up a third down goal to go in the yard line. That was the first incompletion that Davis had so far in the second half, so he's been near perfect for the whole team because Johnson came in and completed one. Martinez sets out wide to the right. He'll go one-on-one -on -one with Dave Kudup. And tight end Williams sets up strong right. Davis rolls out the pass, looks to the end zone, now being chased, missed. Still being chased, now delivers into the end zone, it is incomplete. Martinez back there at the back of the end zone with Dave Kuda. Aztecs having trouble getting into the elusive Phil Davis, putting pressure on him, but the incomplete pass brings up a fourth down. You see him get chased here by Todd Seaball. Lost his outside contain, and that's a very important thing. Davis throwing on the run, just doesn't have enough on the ball, comes up a little short. 
to the Aztecs, Hulk, Wyoming, and on comes Tobin to try a field goal. He's 6 for 12 in the field goal department this year. He's kicking from the left hash mark. He is a straight-on kicker, though, not a soccer-style kicker. From the 15, so it'll be a 25-yard attempt. Ball is down. The kick is on its way. It is good. 25-yard field goal by Steve Tobin. By 25 yards is good. Wyoming checks out three more. It's now 24-7. Wyoming leads it. We'll be back right after this. This fun's for that first day on the job. This Let's return to the play. First and 10, San Diego State. So San Diego State trailing 24-7 on offense with 36 seconds to go in the third period. Shotgun formation again. Copler, long cloud, and one of the Cowboys might have jumped off. Whistles blow. He bumped into the center, Matt Long. I was wondering if they were going to call it or not. It took him a long time to do it. One of the rare penalties against Wyoming. This game's rather been penalty-free tonight. Right. Richie Powler, I believe, the man crossing into the neutral zone. Five-yard walk-off against Wyoming. Takes the football to midfield. Here's the indication. So San Diego State now with a first and five. Again, the shot. Chuck in offense. Coulter will put it up. Three-man rush for the Cowboys. He's going long for Phil Smith. And incomplete as he had a win. Darnell Flash to get to it and knock it down. Oh, boy. Phil Smith had really beaten his man. All by himself. Just underthrown. Matt just lets it go. He fires it. Smith is so quick, but I I just think he just outruns the football. Flash just knocks it down. He had a beat by three or four yards. I'm sure Darnell Flash is pleased. Rather embarrassing for cornerbacks get beaten. So it brings up a second and five for the Cowboys. Durham to the left, Sampson to the right. Out of the shotgun. Copeland. Looking downfield, passes knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Had Sampson on the delay coming over the middle, but defensive line of the Cowboys knocking it down. Brian Howard, 6-1 freshman, he comes out. When he's seven, he just jumps at the line of scrimmage. That's what the key tell defensive line, but if you're being blocked and you can't get to the quarterback, keep those arms up, just might knock the ball down. That's what happened there. Now the Aztecs, after the penalty, having trouble moving the football, have a third and five. Matt now has seven straight incompleted passes. He's a completion here. He'll put it up again. Complete that one. Full way of 45 to the 41 yard line of Wyoming and a first down San Diego State. Minneapolis. Full way of nine yards and a first down. He had one on one coverage with Williams and Iliopolis. Will beat his man. Picks up the first down. So San Diego State keeps the drive alive with the first and 10 at the Wyoming 41-yard line. 10 seconds to play in the quarter. Aztecs trail 24-7. Bokler out of the shotgun. This will be the last play of the period. Matt on first down looks up field, fires as a man open, completes it. At the 22-yard line, tight end Jim Botro. Up by Chuck Pagano, Darnell Clash. First down, San Diego State. So the shotgun, Matt's going down. Botro is just running a straight pattern. He breaks to the outside right in the seam of the zone. The ball is thrown perfectly. Botro makes a nice catch. Big gainer for the Aztecs. And that'll do it for the third quarter of action. It's 24-7 Wyoming. We'll be back with the fourth period after this. Being a large university allows a wide choice of study. But contact with some of the nation's finest teachers makes learning personal. Biologist Mary Eleanor Clark, named Professor of the Year in tough national competition, recognized for her commitment to teaching and involvement in research. She's only one of 2,100 outstanding faculty who take time to care about their students. History, public health, telecommunications, and the performing arts using yesterday and today to understand tomorrow. A campus in the nation's eighth largest city offers students unmatched professional opportunities. 
It's all part of an environment which prepares students now for what they'll need to know in the future. For at San Diego State University, our today is your tomorrow. Bob Babbage is Ron Rina in this fourth quarter action brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, what's for you? And by all old Honda, a lot of cars in the city. Kind of an interesting stat here on the third quarter that San Diego's thrown the ball for 83 yards, Wyoming for 84. All right, Aztecs now with a first and 10 at the Cowboy 22 yard line. Again, out of the shotgun. Hopefully, we'll put it up. Cowboys are coming, but he delivers over the middle. Smith on a drag. 15 to 10, the five, down to the two yard line. Bill Smith. Boy, is he happy. Excited trying to get the fans aroused and get some enthusiasm going in the stadium. Just a clear out pattern. They run everybody deep. Get the wide receiver coming across the middle and opens things up. He built. Trying to crawl in the end zone. Good effort. Try to sneak one in. The Aztecs now knocking on the door. First and goal at the Cowboy one yard line. Just underway in the fourth period. Will Williams and Donnie Roberts are on the setbacks. Both are under center. First down. Matt gives to Cole Williams. Looks close to the goal line, but the officials say no. I thought he got his helmet over the plane, but the officials like he, didn't think so. Looked like he broke the plane of the goal line before he was knocked back. We'll see it right here again. It's, Bull's really coming in that line really good. He's hitting it hard, and there he is. He's over the plane of the goal line, so is the ball. You can see it. All right. Should be a touchdown. They get robbed out of the score. Well, I'll repeat, we do have whack officials. Are you bragging or complaining? Well, I hope you're not bragging. Ooh. This is Rod Gilster and Mary Yarber into the guards now in a running situation goal line. Great foster in there. Inches to go. Give. Cole Williams. Touchdown has got about that one. Got a little fight on the field. Bill Smith and uh, one of the Reggie Fowler, a linebacker, got into it. Doesn't look like uh, the officials caught it, which is good. We'll see it again. Goes bull, he just jumps up there. He got a little spring in his legs. He got up real high. No one's going to stop him that time. He was determined to get in the end zone. So that touchdown means $100 to the Aztec Athletic Foundation. Who's the group of San Diego State Athletics? Courtesy of Dave Ball Balls for Bill. The touchdown makes it 24 13. On comes Dave Meyer to try to kick the extra point to make it a 10 point game. The Aztecs will only be touchdown or field goal away. Oh, the Aztecs are going to go for two. Kofler calling a play. Wants Boutreau in there. He's tied in. There he is. So they'll go for two to try to pull the nine. Right. And the field goal will win it. By a trail now by 11. Sampson wide to the left. Durham to the right. Two-point conversion try by the Aztecs. Kopler tries to pass, flies the end zone, Durham, he gets it, no, he drops it. Oh, boy, Darius Durham. Will not be thrilled when he sees that in the film, he's had a shot at it. So the extra point try fails, 13.56 to play in the football game, it's Wyoming, 24, Aztecs 13, back after this. All right, let's take a look again at that two-point conversion try by the Aztecs as Kopler looks to the end zone, and Darius Durham on an out pattern, he's open. Oh, right on the money. Didn't look it in, just dropped, went right through it. Couldn't, couldn't throw the ball any better. It was perfect, right on the numbers. In fact, it hit him in the numbers when it went through. So the two-point try fails. We have a 24-13 game. The Aztecs have to score twice. Two touchdowns. And he went. Drive with Bull Williams scoring a one-yard touchdown, his second of the year. Now, the penalty apparently was called on the previous touchdown play that Bob Babbage alluded to. 15 yards of necessary roughness from Wyoming, so the Aztecs will kick off from the Cowboy, 45. Meyer to kick off. Class waiting at the three. Meyer tries an outside kick. Loose ball, scramble, and I believe the Wyoming got it, though. Good idea on the part of the Aztecs. I think Wyoming may be a little relaxed. They had little to lose but it was recovered by Doug Moore of Wyoming at the 31-yard line. They only lost really 10 yards because if he would have kicked it, 
could have gone to the end zone, they would have had it on the 20. That's why they had a chance of getting the ball back for a quick score. It was a good call. You have to go for it. You're down by uh, 11 points. You try to make some breaks for yourself. All right, Wyoming offense on the field now. First down at the 31-yard line. Bill Davis gives the second man through, and he is hammered at the 31-yard line. Peter Rule. And the Aztec front. The linebacker is doing a job now. Todd Seaball, 53. Allen Dale, 51. And Doug Reed, number 60. Doug was the first one to make contact. This is a big series for the Aztec defense. They're going to have to stop them. Last time San Diego State scored a touchdown, Wyoming came back and marched right down on the field and got, got it back for him. So they're going to have to stop them here if they want to stay in the ball game. Okay. No game. Second down, 10. Bill Davis under center. A snap, a bad snap, a loose ball, and it's fought upon way back by Dane Ingram and inside the 15. Well, it's just a but unique snap. Well, that ball shot out of there, geez. Looks like he was centering for a punt. Center Joe Davis, again, here we go. Oh, yes. Cool. Flat out missed it. Look at Davis looking for the ball. What the hell is that son of a guy? He just shot it right up there. Ingram wisely goes back and falls on it. Joe DiGregorio, the center, 6'7", 244, junior from Lebanon, Washington, Pennsylvania, who has played guard, tackle, and now playing center this year, and a member of the Italian All-American team. Uh-oh, a big third and 25 from the 16-yard line. Davis, handoff, bubble, picked up, and the hammer for a loss. Zebra at the 11. Kevin Ritchie. Oh, yeah, Sloppy ball handling here by uh, Wyoming the last three plays, which is kind of nice to see. There's Kevin making the play. Doug Reed is also back there. So maybe the tide's changing a little. So now the Aztecs will get the ball with good field position as Jack Wheel will punt from the end zone. Picking the fifth time of this ball game. And he gets the kick away. A high dandy. Fair catch called for by Gary Nobles. He takes it in at the 45-yard line. Nice punt by Will when he needed it. 43 yards. So the Aztecs do get the football with good field position. First and 10 at their own 46-yard line. They trail by 11. 11.56 to play in the football game. Don't forget Aztec basketball starting. Smoky games approved just four weeks. Aztec season ticket on sale now. The San Diego State Aztec ticket office. Aztec basketball team, one of the favorites in the whack this year, along with Wyoming. First and 10 now for the football team at the 46-yard line. Shotgun. Alice moves up to a wing. Everybody moves, but Matt Long flags down. We got the count. A tough way to start a series. Instead of first and 10, first and 15. A five yard walk up. Keep the ball back to the 41. So now, first and 15, San Diego State. Wyoming's in their nickel defense to take out one of their defensive linemen, brought in another back. All right, Coulter will put it up. He's pressured. Steps out of now, dumps it off. Ellis, 43, 45, and then goes across the 45 to the 46-yard line. And hold down there for what will be a five-yard game. And making up the yardage from the penalty. Wyoming's blitzing. Matt steps up, dumps it off for Ellis. Now he's hemmed in there by two Wyoming tacklers and picked up the five yards he lost on that penalty. That'll be second down 10, San Diego State. As it needs some quick scores. Darius Durham sits out wide right. Clinton Sampson to the left. Again, out of the shotgun. Fulpler, back to pass. It's a three-man rush. Fires over the middle. It is Durham. As he came out on a drag route, caught the ball, then fumbled, but I believe he was down. I don't think they'll call it a fumble. He was tackled to the 48-yard line and then fumbled the ball. It's a short game. It's up five. Matt reading once again the Wyoming's in their nickel defense are taking away the medium and long-range passes. He just dumps it off to the back. You get five yards of crack, three times five, 15. That's an easy first down in my book. Now he's got a third and six now. Tried to dump it under the coverage, but the Cowboys handled it. Third down, San Diego State from the 49-yard line. 
shotgun one more time. Colbert gets the three-man rush, fires up field, Smith has it, and then he drops the ball at the 31-yard line. Bill Smith had a shot at it, couldn't hold it, going with Lee Mitchell. The Aztecs have had a couple of balls dropped. So the big play, so fourth down. And after the defense played very well, off offense, unable to lose the ball, has to punt it. Fifth punt coming up for Mike Jesler, third this half. Cowboys sent no one back. In safety position, they want to protect against uh, another run by Jeslin. Fourth down here, but Mike will kick it away. High kick that bounds at the 10, and it'll be down inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. That's a 41-yard punt, a dandy by Jeslin. Of course, nobody back for Wyoming. Thus, it remains 24-13. Cowboys attempt 10 to play in a ball game, but we'll be back after this. Bill Davis under center. Keeps it himself. Trying to run out of there. Chases directions and does a nice job. And then finally holds down at the 12-yard line. Looks like they had him hemmed in. And he just flip flops the other way. Jerome Brady making the stop. Scott Seabaugh stopped him. He was trying to run the option. And Seabaugh's coming in from his linebacker spot. Ran right smack into his face and turned around and reversed his position. Brady holding back at home just like a good linebacker. He's taking care of his responsibilities and making the play. Gain of three, second down seven. The Cowboys from their own 12. Davis this time. Pitches it back to low. Trying to shoot the right. Make that rule at the 10 yard line. Dump. Quarterback Dave Bruda came up nicely. He saw the play unfolding for the wide side of the field. What Bruda come up from his quarterback position. He does a great job fighting off a block right here by number 39 Ingram. Coming in and making a fine tackle on roll. A good play by Dave Peter. All right, David, 5'9", 185, junior out of Los Angeles, transfer from Ventura, J.C. Got a one-yard pickup for the Cowboys, now a third and six. Emory sets out wide right to the short side of the field. The motion is Ingram. Davis rolls left to pass with the field, fires, and completes it to the tight end. Williams still running, it goes to the 30, and a ball stolen away by Mike Fox. Of the Aztecs, he just stole it cleanly. Great play by Mike Fox. They have two guys on Williams, and he just shields them off. That's what the Aztec defense had to do. They had to make something happen. Take another look at it. He just dumped it off into Williams. Takes a good shot here by Alvin Bush. And then there's no Fox. He's just wrestling the ball away from him. Stop wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Just took it right away. Oh, why? My clock. A steal. What do they call that? An interception? A fumble? Well, I don't know, but boy, it's something you don't see very often. Teams try to do it, especially late in the game. So Fox creates the big turnover. He has to get the ball in a sensational position. 28-yard line of Wyoming. Officials trying to question as to whether they're discussing that grass or is this the 28-yard line? Is that the right ball? Or a high-level conference there. Oh, they change ball, okay. At the 28-yard line, first and 10 aspects, they trail by 11. A touchdown here pulls them within seven. Third turn over the night. Now Wyoming. Bill Smith in motion left. Out of the shotgun. Copeland will put it up. Pass. Under pressure now. He's going to run it. Trying to get outside at the 30. Breaks one tackle, but can't break another. It's coming up quickly with Mike Davis to pump him out of bounds from the Aztec match at the 30-yard line. And that had a lot of time, but Wyoming defense did a good job in covering the receivers. Saw a little opening and took off to Mike Davis coming up from the safety spot, forcing him out of bounds. Lost him five yards. Copeland tonight, 20 or 39, 260 yards. One touchdown, he's been intercepted twice. Eight and a half minutes to play in a football game. Durham to the left, Sampson, or Durham to the right, Sampson to the left. Copeland goes under center this time. Matt back to pass anyway. Sets up, now he's gonna be sacked and fumbles the ball, but it's scramble, loose ball. 
Jerry Stabline are tackled. Go for it to the one of the Cowboys. And they're going to blow the whistle dead on Culper. Pat Ruan pressuring for Wyoming along with Rick Farnsworth. The umpire. It is Jerry Stabline. A senior of Fountain Valley. Blitzing linebacker number 48. Ruan. Making the play for the fumble. Well, the Aztecs lose some more yardage back to the 36 yard line. Now they have a third and 19. They have a great opportunity to try to take advantage of after the steal by Mike Fox. Third down and 18, though. 7.54 to play in the game. Copler out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Top pressure rolling left. Looking for somebody in the end zone. In trouble and can't unload the ball. Wyoming does a fine job. Jim Eliopoulos making the stop. They only had a three-man rush. But the Aztecs still couldn't hold them out. Stopping back eight men to take away the passing route to the Aztecs. Receivers, that has nowhere to go. Iliopoulos coming in, making a sack. He had six sacks this week, and he's got one tonight. And he's also their leading tackler. He's having an outstanding season. His final one at Wyoming. The Cowboys dropping eight people off to fill up the passing lanes and creating products for Kohler as Jevlin on fourth down will have to punt the ball. He's running out, wants to pass it. Now he's going to kick it and boots it to the end zone. It bounds at the five and goes into the end zone. I think Jesuit wanted to pass the ball to somebody, but seeing nobody open, other than they kicked it back, 43 yard kick. So the uh, Wyoming dodges a bullet there after his right spot stole the ball from tight end, Williams. But still, 24 13. We'll be back right after this. The action, Wyoming Cowboys have the ball. First down, 31 yard line for the Wyoming Cowboys. Bill Davis, go back again. Straight ahead dive, Doug Moore. It's a yard or two, and that's about all. The Cowboys obviously now would just be happy to run the clock out, get out of here with a victory, stay alive in a whack race. Well, that was a tough break for Steve because he worked so hard this year. He wanted to make his final season with the Aztecs a very memorable one. And he's playing ball well, very well this year. And unfortunate thing that happens, but luckily he hasn't hurt any, serious, any more seriously than he was. Second down eight, Wyoming. Bill Davis. Back to pass. Hit, miss. They hit again, and then they get to him, and they drop him back in the 28-yard line. Quarterback Bill Davis. Doug Reed got in there. Alvin Bush looks to be hurt. I think Alvin hit that broken hand again, and he did a little somersault there in pain. Brainy coming in from his linebacker spot. Let's get gets a hold of him. You see Alvin Bush coming in here. There he goes, and the quarterback fell on his hand, and there's nothing worse than falling yeah, on that broken hand. Big Doug Reed fell on top of him. Right. That yeah, smarts a little. All right, back to play. I was going to say of the WAC members, two of the leaders won today, Hawaii and uh, BYU. Utah tied, Hawaii trying to stay alive in the race. Third down and long. Ingram in motion. Davis on third down. Takes the draw. Back to pass. Pressure. Has it knocked away? And then finally, he is sacked. Now he has six back at the 23-yard line. Jerome Franey doing a job again. Along well, with Kevin Ritchie in there, but Doug Reed's the one that really made the play happen. He came coming in from his end position, put his hand on uh, Bill Smith's arm and almost knocked the ball out of there. Phil Davis' arm, I'm sorry. And uh, it gave uh, Franey and Kevin Ritchie time to get in there to get the sack. So, fourth down, wheel the punt from the 10-yard line. Double safeties for the Aztecs. And, oh, it's coming in there, almost blocked. He's going to run it at the 25, at the 30. He breaks the tackle at the 35, then he fumbles the ball off at the 40-yard line, and San Diego State recovered. Oh, 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 it looked to be a terrible situation. It turned out to be very good. Oh, yeah. If this wasn't by design, he wanted to punt the ball. But he was pressured. There was nothing. He had to get out of there, then he was stuck. Got a little opening. Great to tackle there by Coleman, number 40. Jack and Darrell Hall. Darrell Hall. Hall. And then Coleman recovers the ball. Aztecs with the ball now at the 40 of Wyoming. Out of the shotgun. Let me pull this one out. 4 one to play. Coulter to pass. Sets up. Gets one of his own men. Runs out of there now. Fires the ball. Completes the stirrup. And Darius takes it down to the 25-yard line. 
for 15 yards in the first down from the Darnell Clash. So Matt completes one. It's the Essex down inside the 25 to the 24 of Wyoming. Head back, he runs into number 68, Kevin Howell, who's trying to help him out. That big Darius open in between that zone. Drills it right in there. Trying to get a block there by number 18, Craig Ellison, downfield blocking. To help out his teammate. First and 10, San Diego State. Out of the shotgun. Wolfner will put it up again. Four man blitz. And he fires a pass. Ellis, Ellis though. And heavy traffic can't get any running room at the 24 yard line. Tackled by Steve Nicewater. The roll will be a gain of about one yard at the most. Right. So he's right at the line of scrimmage, as a matter of fact. And the clock moves with 316 to go. The Essex better get going. Jessup checks in a tight end for Butro. Copa tonight, 22 for 41, 276 yards. Durham to the right, Smith to the left. Again out of the shotgun, Copa will put it up. Going to the end zone for Smith, and it's intercepted by Sally at the five. Back up to the 10, 15, the 20, gets a couple of blocks, still running, and breaks it in at the 40. And finally a flag down, he tried to lateral the ball, but the Aztec all gets to him at the 44-yard line, but there's a penalty flag way back at about the 25-yard line. Looks to be flipping, though, against the Wyoming. Chuck Pagano. And throwing the ball to the corner to Phil Smith. Sally just comes right in front of him. Sally is fine through safety. There was some talk, I was talking to some of the coaches from Wyoming before the game, and they feel that he is probably one of the best, if not the best, free safety in the uh, WAC conference this year. He's had a good, good season. So Matt Copler intercepted for the third time tonight. Once another drive, as the Aztecs had come up with a fumble, and had a, for the second time in this quarter, beautiful opportunities inside Wyoming territory, and can't take advantage of it. And the turnovers are just hurting the Aztecs. Walk off following the clipping penalty. Move the football back to the 17 yard line. So, after all is said and done, Wyoming has the ball again, leading 24 13. 2.41 to play in a football game. Quarterback Bill Davis under center. Goes off the second back through Rule, finds a hole over right tackle, bangs across the 25 to the 26 yard line. Ball down by Doug Reed. Eight yards. Nine yards. Well, he's had a long football history and turned out some good people like Jim Kick, Aaron Kyle, and Van Teddy, the Lions guy Frazier, Conrad Dobler, Conrad Dobler, Lawrence Gaines, the team is Dick Washington, the running back, Ron Billingsley, the Beast. Yes. I saw the Beast today as a friend. Still living in San Diego. San Diego, yes. All former Wyoming Cowboys. Second down, one now for this year's version. Two and a half to play in the football game. Davis looking at the scoreboard clock, taking a lot of time. Long count. And now he hands off second man through. Here's Rule. Rule, good running room. Takes it across the 35 and 36. He has a first down for Wyoming. Just running their basic plays. They're leading the fullback and giving it to the second back. It's just the lead play, isolation on the linebacker. They have a fine runner and rule. It's a very effective play for him. Ball control. He carried 15 yards, 35 yards. Through the rule is a 5'11 sophomore. In fact, Wyoming has 10 seniors on this squad, so this group will be back. Other than Phil Davis, the quarterback, they got a first down now at their own 36 yard line, trying to run the clock out with a bit. 53 to go. Took away their seventh victory of the year, fifth in the league. Davis pitches back to get Mike. To Charlie Mike and Mike sweeping around the left end. Got the ball the 40 yard line. Right down by Mike Fox. Was he out of bounds? Or the Aztecs calling it from out? Second down and six for Wyoming. Cowboys at their own 40 yard line. Senior quarterback Bill Davis. On first down, hands off straight ahead. Doug Moore, the fullback. Doug gets a couple yards. The Essex tonight trying to hold a three-game losing streak, but they won't do so against Wyoming. Who appears to be on their way to victory number seven on the year. 
Rich Moran. Rich Moran is truly a guard. He's a sophomore. He's playing backup center this year. Moran's father was an outstanding guard also in college football in Idaho. Howell told me he played some guard in J.C., but that was a beer offense. A little different than this type of offense. Cook third down and three for Wyoming. Davis will put it up on third down. Now fires a field. It is caught by the tight end Williams in heavy traffic. Nice catch by James Williams on a floating pass at the 44-yard line. But the Aztecs might intercept. Couldn't get to it. And one Aztec is down after that collision. Present call by Davis. I thought they tried to run the clock out. He just close the ball. He throws everything on off his back foot. Here comes Crudup coming in there, gives him a good shot. And I think that's what uh, Mike Fox took most of the brunt from. And Wyoming will remain in the hunt. Minute 13 to play, clock moving. Davis on first down after Mike Fox is okay and off the field. Quarterback Phil Davis. Long out. Just to run that clock down. And does. Broken play, he's running out of there himself, being chased. Got Aztecs after him, Motley Joan Franey. Now he runs backwards to the 43-yard line, looking for a block. Can we go some more, and the funny says, enough of this, and it's hammered down. Steve Allman, ripping the shirt off his back. His little tearaway jerseys, which will be out at the end of this season, so we won't see any more of that after this. He missed his back. Somebody made, blew an assignment. Now he's running around. Morgan trying to get outside, sees nowhere to go. All he sees is black shirt. Black shirt, and here comes Allman just ripping that shirt right off. <laughs> It's a souvenir, a piece of Wyoming jersey. Well, they won't have that problem anymore. Next year, they are through with football. No more tearaways. I imagine the equipment managers around the country are pleased about that. They have to carry 8,000 jerseys for the guy. Probably carry two dozen for every running back in case they get whipped up, especially in the wishbone. They carry the ball so many times. So we're only 44 seconds away from tucking this game away in the history. This is the fourth meeting between the two schools. Aztecs won the opener here a couple of years ago. Or, the, or rather, two years ago won here, but Wyoming won last year at Laramie. 34-9, won two years ago at Laramie, 31-22. About ready to win this one also. Now Johnson is the quarterback. He keeps it himself, ducks in, goes for a couple of yards, the 44-yard line. Cut see by an attack. 36 seconds in counting. Johnson with the other so Wyoming is about to run the clock out. Move the Cowboys record to seven and two overall, five and one in the line. Aztecs will fall to four and four on the year, two and four in the whack. 14 seconds to play. This ought to be the last play of the football game. Charlie Mike in motion left. Johnson straight ahead. And out. Doug Moore to pull back to the 48-yard line. Tripped up. That'll do it. Two seconds. Nine seconds. There it is. So. The University of Wyoming Cowboys spoil the Aztecs homecoming as they defeat San Diego State on a 30,000 plus fans. Final score was Wyoming 24, San Diego State 13. For Jan Chemp and Bill Chestnut and Bob Babbage and Ron Reed. The victims of evil melt before your very eyes tonight at 6 in The Devil's Reign, starring Ernest Borgnine.